You're smarter than you think. You really are. I walked into a room maybe five years ago, and there was a group of people, and they were from different departments at the college, math, English, physics, and the first thing that came across my mind was, if I could somehow tap into the brains of all of these people and absorb their knowledge, I would become a super genius because I would have the knowledge of all of these people in one brain. I am the Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. We might not be at that stage yet technologically, but what you can do is you can unlock the genius within you. I believe that all of us have some special skills or special talent, and in this video, I'm going to give you some general guidelines, some life principles that you can actually follow that will drastically help you unlock the genius within you. These are principles that I actively work on in my own personal life, and I feel like they have improved my life dramatically. I cannot emphasize how much better my life has gotten by trying to do these things. These are principles that can help you, whether you're learning mathematics, whether you're looking for work, Maybe you're trying to improve your performance at work. Maybe you're trying to improve your relationships. All of these things can help you in all areas of life. Let's start with the hardest possible thing to do, and that is to surround yourself with smart people because if you don't know any really smart people or maybe you don't really have any friends, it's going to take some work. And so it's basically an active lifelong pursuit to try to surround yourself and be around people who are intelligent. If you work at a big company, maybe you work with smart people, surround yourself with those people, start engaging, start socializing with your coworkers who seem to be better than you. If you are a student in college, try to hang out with those students who are getting A's, the ones that are always succeeding. By surrounding yourself with smart people, it kind of rubs off on you and you learn a lot by working with people smarter than you. I distinctly remember studying mathematics for the first time with someone who was genuinely better than me. I studied with a person who was running circles around me and it took me a while to catch up, but let me tell you, the motivation and the inspiration that it brought to my mathematics and to my life, and even to this day, is incredible. When you surround yourself with smart people, not only does some of that perhaps rub off on you, but it inspires you to be better. It inspires you to try to be as good as they are. That inspiration leads to action which can help unlock the inner genius within you. Finding balance is something that can really help unlock the inner genius within you. This might seem counterintuitive if you're trying to learn something new and instead you're focusing on other things like going for a bike ride, going swimming, you know, watching television. These are all things that are not maybe directly related to what you're trying to do, but they help create this balance in your life that helps foster creativity and productivity. By doing things you enjoy, by doing a variety of things, it gives you more life experiences and it makes you smarter, right? The more experiences you have in life, the more intelligent people you meet, the more things you do, the smarter you become and you grow as a human being. And I think that's important if you want to really unlock your inner genius. You probably have many hidden talents that you're not aware of simply because you don't know what to look for. So by finding balance in your life and doing different things and doing different social activities and learning different topics, you expose yourself to more things in the world and it broadens your worldview and it just makes you a better human being and it brings you closer to finding out what is your inner genius? You can basically break down balance fairly crudely into three categories. So you have work, which includes an actual job or maybe going to school. So you have that that you want to focus on. Then you have personal. So personal is you, your family, your close relationships, those that are closest around you. You want to focus on that. And then you have your social aspects. So maybe you have some friends, your buddies at the gym, whatever, right? So that is separate. So you have those three things and you want to keep them balanced. And by focusing on all of those aspects of your life, it's going to broaden your worldview and it'll help you unlock that inner genius that's inside all of us. Never give up. And this is one that is super important. 
Never give up on your dreams and your goals and whatever it is you want to accomplish in life. Do not give up. Sometimes you try things and you fail. That is normal. The trick is to learn from your failures. If you try to do something and it doesn't work, do something else, right? I mean, either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. And if you don't do it, then you have failed, right? You have failed. You have given up. You can choose to give up, but realize that when you do that, you are not going to succeed. I want to emphasize that if you try something and you fail, you should try something else. As a concrete example, let's say you're studying for a math test and you do really bad on that test. You need to study a different way. You need a different plan of action because whatever you did before did not work. And that is what separates winners and losers, right? People who fail oftentimes don't get back up and try again. It's like that old song from the 90s, you know, I, I get knocked down and I get up again and you're never gonna keep me down. Just like that. There are so many great success stories of people that have accomplished so much in the world. And when you look at those people, a lot of times we look at those stories and we think, that can never be me. That can never be me. I can never do something that great. And I think that's not a good viewpoint to have. I think people need to realize, you need to realize that you really can do anything. There is something within you and you just have to find it. And I think after watching this video, if you follow these tips, you will be able to come closer to unlocking that genius that is living inside of you. One of the fortunate things I got from teaching so many years at a college is that I was able to see how many brilliant people there are in the world. You know, in a class of 30 students, you would be surprised at how much intelligence is there. And people don't see it. People don't realize how good they are. People are much smarter than they think they are. They really are. And so if you're watching this video and you're thinking, hey, I'm really not that good. There's no genius inside of me. There's no way I'm gonna get better. It's not true. It is simply not true. I guarantee it, you are probably much better than you think you are. So those are three principles that you can implement in your daily life that can help unlock the hidden talent inside of you, unlock the hidden genius that lives inside of you. We all have something, and I really believe that. And remember, it's a daily practice. You know, you're gonna have to work hard to surround yourself with smart people. That is one of the biggest things that can really be life-changing. And some people are fortunate, you know, they're around smart people already, but some of us, maybe you don't have any friends, so it's gonna take some extra work to get there. Finding balance is one that you can practice on a daily basis. The key is to not overdo it and remember to have some fun. Never giving up is pretty easy to say, but harder to do. And by never giving up, I mean that when you fail, it's better to take a different approach or a slightly modified approach. You know, if you are applying for jobs and you're not getting jobs, maybe change up your resume. If you're studying for a math test or a physics test and you're not getting the results you're getting, maybe change the way you study. Make those small changes so that you can see results. And never give up on your dreams because this is your life and it matters. Do you have any advice for people here? People read the comments and every time you leave a comment, it really helps other people. If you have any constructive comments, please leave a comment below in this video. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope that you can follow these tips and unleash the hidden genius that lives inside of you. Remember, you're a lot better than you think you are. People are highly intelligent and they don't even know it. It really is true. I've seen it over the years from all the students I've had. People are just so smart and they don't realize it. You have so much potential. Good luck to you.